We bring you a special report from the FCCLA team on vaping in the community. Vaping in teens is an epidemic and is going up at an exponential rate. Over 3% of middle schoolers reported have used the vape in the last 30 days, going up from 0.6% in 2011. In the latest study released in December 17th, 2018, showing that one-tenth of 8th graders across America reported vaping nicotine in the last 12 months. So that begs the question, what is vaping? Vaping, or getting a hit from a vape, is inhaling burning chemicals known as juice from an electronic cigarette, which often contains high levels of nicotine. Doing the math. One jewel pod contains as much nicotine as one cigarette pack. One jewel pod contains 0.7 milliliters of fluid. On average, a person that vapes 120 milliliters a month. So one month of vaping is like smoking 120 packs of cigarettes. That's four packs a day. With all that nicotine, what are the health effects? A lot of the time, a pro-vape argument is, it's just water vapor. No, it's not. It's actually aerosol. Not to mention, a lot of the time, the flavored, when mixed with polypropylene gl glycol, the main ingredient in vape liquids, and antifreeze, they can make even more cancerous chemicals. We don't even know all what's in vaping liquid, due to the limited FDA regulations. Vaping daily use is a, doubles the risk of heart attack. Most teens that vape move on to smoking and dual use. Almost all vapes contain diacel, which can affect the lungs capacity and eventually lead to a disease called popcorn lung. Smoking versus vaping. A popular myth about vaping is that it's safe, but that's a stretch of the truth. It's 95% safer than smoking cigarettes, but not if you smoke already. Formalite is a chemical used to make wood products. It often hurts the body near the nasal and into the lung area. Formalite also causes cancer in those areas and can be life threatening if consumed at high levels. It may come as a surprise, but formaldehyde is one of the main ingredients in vape liquids. From 2013 to 2018, vaping in schools has tripled over the years and is corrupting teenagers all across the country, meaning 50% more kids vape than smoke tobacco cigarettes. Vapes and e-liquid sales have gone up by, by 1,500% in the last three years and are continuing to grow as a popular culture trend, which needs to be stopped. Several companies have, have reached out to users and stores to attempt to put an end to the early teen vaping around the U.S. Joel has promised to spend $30 million on use preventing on teenagers. Also, the FDA has made several attempts to increase the buying age of 21 from prior age 18, cracking down on people who may buy e-liquids and vapes for young adolescents. So, as you can see from this information, vaping is not just a popular culture trend and more of an epidemic in the community. If you vape already, you need to stop right away and get help.